We're here today to seek National Workers' Compensation Occupational Medicine Conference with Workers' Compensation Defense Attorney Kevin Stewart from Bernard & Merrill. Kevin, why is medical marijuana such a hot topic today? Medical marijuana is a hot topic today, particularly in workers' compensation, because it's become legalized medical marijuana state after state in the last few years. It started out west, it moved east. We have a lot of states now, not a majority, but we're moving towards a majority of states that have legalized in some way medical marijuana. And once it's become legalized, then it becomes an issue in the workers' compensation system because providers and patients are pushing uh, medical marijuana and looking for payers, including workers' compensation. And that's why it's becoming a hot topic. So when do TPA, self-insured, and workers' compensation insurers need to actually pay for medical marijuana? At this point, insurance companies, TPAs, self-insured, should not be voluntarily paying for any medical marijuana. Medical marijuana, and med marijuana in general, remains illegal. In fact, criminally, uh, it's criminal to pay or possess marijuana, even medical marijuana, under federal law. And therefore, at this point, no one should be voluntarily paying for it. You only pay for it if you get a court order, a final court order, telling you to do so. Otherwise, it would be a potential violation of federal criminal law. So what problem does the legalization of marijuana play in the workers' compensation system? It plays a problem, the legislation, because there's a conflict between state and federal law. In many states, medical marijuana has become legal, but the federal law continues to find it illegal. And because there's a conflict between the state and federal law, workers' compensation payers and all medical payers are stuck in the middle trying to decide between state law and federal law and between the patients and the recommendation from providers. And in the workers' compensation system, we also have issues of secondary gain that are especially problematic more than even in the regular medical system. So that's why it's becoming an issue. So how should employers and self-insureds and TPAs deal with medical marijuana? At this point, insurance companies, TPAs, self-insureds should continue to deny any request for pre-approval or payment of a prescription marijuana or medical marijuana or any references or referrals for medical marijuana. If they get a bill, it should be denied. If they get a request for pre-approval, it should not be pre-approved. If it goes to litigation, the defense will be mostly on the Ill illegality under federal law. Um, employers will need to look at this uh, as well, um, and each state will be different based on the state law. Thank you. Thanks.